He's, he's so then, saying that, uh, that your future leftover nice guy, <laughs> that you're, uh, I assume that you're going to, he's saying that you're going to settle with, he finished last? Okay. Um, There's some assumptions well, being made the there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess that. Dave Mustaine. <sighs> I am having brain issues right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I know that it, I mean, it's working for me now because I'm not even that upset about it, you know? Like, not ever, I mean, it would be fun to get into a relationship and stuff like that, but being I haven't really gotten in one, I'm not that eager to get into one because I'm really good at being single and I'm really, really independent. Okay. And it, honestly, like, if a nice guy settles for me, that's okay because if he's settling, that means that I had to settle too because I'm not going anywhere I don't want to. Um, yeah, just want to ask really quickly. So why, I mean, you mentioned a couple of times before, like if they had been exclusive to you first, then you would have been exclusive to them and it could have turned into something, mm -hmm. right? Why, why is it his responsibility to be exclusive first? Um, I think it's just something that we both mutually have to say first. Not necessarily like he has to do it first. I actually, like when I'm like, when I actually like, like somebody at first, I, I, I am quite loyal to them especially emotionally like physically and like not so much because i think that nowadays like physical relationships are so like easy to come across like they're not that meaningful they're easy to come across for women okay. they're not they're not easy to come across well, for the average guy it does they're take two not, to tango so i i don't know completely but um i think it, me i'm more emotionally loyal than i am physically and the beginning of a talking phase with somebody like, oh, wrong. wait can you <laughs> <laughs> can, wait can you can you just repeat what you just said there um i said i'm more loyal if i see that there is potential like i okay what i said was i am more loyal emotionally in the beginning of when i first meet somebody and see like there could be like something possibly there but not so much physically because the physical stuff doesn't mean as much to me as like the emotional stuff because i mean it's 2023 like people do sleep around they do and i think like the emotional investment is more important than the physical one obviously if i'm like seeing a guy and he like like has sex with another girl like that's gonna make me mad but from the get-go like in the beginning of meeting somebody it's just but don't, I, don't, but the, you, but don't you think that's detrimental for you that you're saying that it's more emotional that that's what matters for you but what about for the guy's part like you're saying physical doesn't matter but for him that does matter i don't see anybody else physically if i think that he is also not why do you have to think it why can't you like talk about it if you were the first to initi initiate this conversation and get the answer then you could just stop it right there instead of like everything else no? so i think my issue like or not even my issue it's hard to talk to a guy to tell him to stop seeing other girls straight off the bat because then they're going to get scared away. That's yeah. like what I've noticed. Cause they're just but like, do you think that's something you have to tell a guy or does he know when he just has to do it? Um, I don't know. I feel like it's more like 50-50 because he could bring it up if it's like a concern to him and then I can bring it up if it's a concern to me. But when we're getting to know each other, like it's hard to tell what will be receptive to him. Do you think it's I, like that on your end because he does that on purpose? Or just that's just how it is? Does what on purpose? The fact that it's confusing. Most of the time, if you're confused, it's because he wants it to be confusing. A guy actually knows when they want to be with a girl. Don't you think so? Yeah, and that's generally when I'm not like super physically invested in him, and I'll see other people. <laughs> so when he's show when he's showing interest, when you lose interest in, in like that's well, what that sounded like to me. Uh, she said that like if he isn't showing interest, right? No, so what, do you, wait, do you think you're playing like a cat mouse game? Then it's almost like saying I want to be fit for the summer, but like springtime, wintertime, you're eating like shit. So by the time you want a relationship, that guy's going to be like, you've, you've showed me that you're never going to be relationship material because you're just like having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun until I see that there's no reason not to anymore. There's like also there's something, something holding me back. Sorry, cut you off. Yeah. There's, no, also, there's also something here where just by going on what you've told us about the guys that you are seeing, you are proactively picking men who have options. You're not settling. You're not picking the guy mm -hmm. who would commit to you because he ain't got a bunch of other women he wants to fuck. If, but you see, you see what I'm trying to say here? Like you're, you're act the guys you're picking, they're not committing to you because the guys you're picking are guys that have a ton of options. You're picking guys who are like Yeah. Players. What if you set your intentions? 
Like if you told them like, oh, I want it this way and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do it this way. I wanna fuck you, so you're gonna fuck me. And if that's not what you wanna do, yeah. you decide then. It's like, okay, well then I'm gonna sleep around with other people as well. Like I understand what you're saying, but like if there was a, if you are just sleeping around because you think that this person doesn't wanna be with you, then it kind of like defeats the purpose because now we both don't trust each other instead of we could have just established a situation where we did understand that we both wanted to fuck each other and other people or we just wanted to do it with each other or whatever the case may be. I know that talking about it is really scary, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it might be ne necessary to break a pattern or stop a, a cycle of doing the same things over and over. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was trying to get, yeah. get at, like break the pattern. And yeah. I agree, and I think I shouldn't, I think, I just said think again. I shouldn't have used the word thinking that yeah. they aren't seeing anyone. It's like, You're showing. They're, showing. they're showing it. Yeah. Like, I've had guys, I took him out, like, to, we went on multiple dates together, and the next time I invited him out, and he showed up with his ex-girlfriend. And I'm like, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Savage. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>